gonna feel lots of unbreathing. Trust me, you're gonna feel it. I don't listen. Stay in the lot. Stay in the lot. Good. Very nice. Do we come in? This safe for the club. What are you gonna do? Uh, I'm gonna hold that for you. Yep. Show me. You got there, sir? Are you okay, sir? What else are you checking? Um. Uh, airway. Yes. Breathing. Find the breathing. Check. Right. Uh, you see, hear, feel anything? Nope. Okay, so you're going to tell someone in the room to uh, go do what? Call 911, tell them we have a uh, unresponsive male adult unbreathing. Excellent. Not breathing. Excellent. I'm starting CPR. Show me. Uh, so so up, up over them. The heel at the bottom hand, right in the center between the nipples. I want you up on your knees over the person so that you. Oh, wait a minute. Back. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. No head injuries. All right, so you're going to press pretty much hard and fast. Show me. One, two, three, four. Nice. Don't have your hand. That's right. Keep your hand on the chest. Don't let that leave the chest. Try to keep your fingers up a little bit. But you need to know what it is and what it's called and where it's located so you can retrieve it for me so that I can use it. Everybody understand? Yes. Yeah. Does that make sense? Okay. The backpack is ordered. A, B, C, S, okay? Airway is first in here. I got my artificial airways. I got my breathing. I got circulation and the blankets in here for shock. So it all goes in order, it makes sense. There, that's on. But you're still holding C-spine, okay? You're gonna hold C-spine the entire time. We're gonna put them on a backboard. We're gonna get them on the stretcher. We're gonna carry them away. And you are always gonna be holding that and you are in charge of the count. When we go to lift up, one, two, three, it's on your count, because you're the one holding his neck in line, preventing him from getting a broken neck. So you're in charge of movement, okay? Anybody know what that does by raising the legs? Oh. Well, it does. Basically what it does is, you don't need the blood in your legs, right? You shunt it back to the vital organs in the brain. Right? So that's why you put the legs up. All right, make sense, everybody? Okay. Uh, one, two, three, roll back. So for the most part, they did a decent job. Did you see how he rolled it? They rolled as one. I'm Michelle Carrara. I'm a nurse, EMT, and CPR first aid instructor. We're from Niantic, Connecticut. You are? I'm Melissa Victor. I am a firefighter EMT with Flanders Fire Department, and I instruct uh, with Michelle for Survival Solutions first aid and CPR. We've been doing it for about 11 years now, give or take. Uh, we teach American Heart Association uh, first aid and CPR. We teach any and everywhere. Anybody who will hire us, we're more than happy to uh, teach. Uh, we enjoy it, and um, I think over the years, uh, we've learned some skills that uh, probably make us better teachers than when we started. Um, and I'm having a great time today, the kids are great. And now we are setting up to do practicals. So not only are we talking about it, now we're gonna actually do it. We're actually gonna put it into play. Um, I'm excited to see how the kids do. I think they're going to do fine. Um, and um, we always learn something too whenever we teach, so I'm, I'm anxious to see what they're going to teach us. During the entire joint extremity, there's the sling. Okay. So now wouldn't it be tying knot around the... Now we're going to go around the... Yep. Two people can use their hands and arms to form a little seat that someone could carry them. You could carry someone out in that seat. Mike, can I borrow you for a second? Sure. We're going to make this. Go like this with your arms and hands. Drop your lace in there. And you got to make it opposite of mine. So that hand grabs that arm. Alright. Sorry. Mike, grab your... Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. Lift yeah. and lift. Put your arms over our shoulders. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, form it. Is that comfortable? Yeah. It's mildly yeah. comfortable, right? Here, lower, lower. Okay? One. One. You got the weight. Two. Two. Three. Roll. Oh, terrible, but that'll do for now. Pull them over. Pull them over. Pull them over. Okay, I'm rolling back down. One, two, three, roll back over. Okay. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Some work. Really, really. Remember, whoever is at the head is in charge of the whole thing. Second of all, when you're moving, when you're rolling somebody, all hands will be on the same side that you need to either pull from, right? So if you're rolling to the patient's right-hand side, you're on the patient's right hand side, both hand, both of your hands are going to be on the left hand side getting ready to pull to the right. Okay. And vice versa if you're pulling to the left. Okay. Uh, step over, step around. Okay. Uh, right. We're going to roll, no, 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 let's throw don't, he doesn't move. Lift. What happened there? 
<laughs> we're to lower, lower. Okay, okay. Gotcha. I know, we're just practicing for right now. Did you get the idea? Yes, sir. Okay. Need to think. Slide off the bottom or something of the sort. So we carry this stuff. One inch tubular webbing, and this is what we use to strap people into stretchers. I'm going to do the quick and dirty method right now, but what I'd like to see is jackets packed around the head, packed around here. You know, we pack material in around him so that he doesn't move quite so much. So reach down like just three inches. There we go. Perfect. I want to make sure the head is all the way on the material. It's okay if a foot hangs off a little bit at this end, but not so much with the head. So first things first, all open these seals. Overhand knot, making sure that everything is nice and flat. Then I take the other piece and I feed it in reverse over top of itself. Just having it lay on top of itself like so. So here we go again. Feed that underneath to me, please. Wait, you want to slap one on? Get a collar handy. Yeah. You're good. This, this is this is okay, okay. I don't want to compress his neck. There's yeah. another way that's sometimes done where you put a strap right across the forehead. That might actually yeah, be a better option. Yeah, head blocks. Let's do that. So me come on man, Absolutely. Yeah, get on it. Go, go, go. Do not step over that victim. You just failed. Just stepped over the victim. Oh. Now you can step over him again. Okay. I want my OPAs. Are you actually No, we're not actually They're in the back. Nope. It's remember in the back. A, B, C. So it's open that all the way up. That black pouch with the zipper right there. In the back. In the back. In the back. Oh. Okay. Perfect. Okay, let him up. 